Hey, what's going on everyone? And welcome back to the Beamer Barn. Today, we're gonna to be going over even more of my favorite coding options for the BMW E90 platform. And if you haven't yet, we already did make a video of my top five favorite options. We went over things like the adaptive headlight air fix, the velocity gauge, closing windows with your key, the double blink of the hazards, which is like a European option, and then coding out the window safety mechanism for the coupe. Now, I have an E91 behind me here, and we're gonna go over some more coding options and they're gonna be a little bit different depending on which FRM model you have so if you have an FRM 1 2 or 3 they each came in different models of e90 chassis and if you're curious as to which coding options are gonna work on your car I have a link on my website that'll break down by year what coding options are available that you can add to your car so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the, our first coding option and that is the iDrive disclaimer now if you have an iDrive car or the two hump dashboard as they call it then and when you start your car up in the mornings, you've probably had to read that disclaimer that BMW puts that says basically don't look at this screen while you're driving and you have to press down on the iDrive knob to agree and then you can go ahead and use the CCC or the CIC system. Now on my car, I already went and disabled this feature. So when I start up my car, it immediately goes to the iDrive screen. I have no problems waiting to select my favorite radio station or get the Bluetooth working. So I definitely would recommend that you guys do that on your iDrive enabled E90 chassis and that way it's just gonna save you that little bit of time and frustration. Now the next coding feature that we enabled on my E91 is the key door unlock routine. Now this is pretty cool in that it saves you a little bit of time and unlocks all the doors for you after you're done driving. So all you need to do is turn the car off with the button and then when you take the key physically out of its slot, it actually will unlock all the doors for you and your passengers so you guys can quickly get out instead of having to double pull on the door handles, which is something people are always asking me when I'm taking them for a ride in my BMW. They always think, hey, I pulled the door handle, it's not opening, but you have to pull twice. So definitely enable this if you wanna save yourself a little bit of time getting out of the car. It is a little bit funny though, it'll only work after a drive. So if you just have the car parked, you turn the engine on, you turn the engine off and you pull the key out, it's not going to unlock all the doors. So it's kind of hard to replicate for the camera but it is really useful when you need it. Now, the next feature that we enabled was the corner delete mod. Now on European vehicles, this is enabled from factory. So if you're in Europe, you can go ahead and ignore this one. But here in the US, we have to have, I guess on certain cars, uh, the turn signals lit up at all times. And it's kind of annoying in that it takes away from the look of the angel eyes and the HIDs. So what you can do is go into your car and code this option out. And that'll basically turn the lights off all the time, unless you're using the turn signals and it makes it look a lot cleaner in the front end of your car and gives it that kind of like European look. Now this next coding option, I would probably not do on my personal car for safety reasons. It's the seat belt chime delete. And basically it's for race car purposes or if you have disabled the seat belt because you put in a harness system, then you're probably gonna wanna disable that seat chime and the warning that you get. moments later. And now with the coating in place, I can go ahead and just undo this. It feels so illegal. I'm just driving around my neighborhood, by the way. It not only does it feel illegal, it also feels really unsafe. Now, generally, I would recommend that you keep this option on because it's going to remind you to wear your seatbelts and wearing your seatbelts is safe. So that's what I have to say on that. Now on my E91 here, I actually tried to install a couple of coding options that didn't end up working. And that all depends based off of what modules, what equipment your car came with from factory. So my car, I tried to enable the comfort key eject, which is where you press the stop button to stop your engine and it should pop the key out. So you don't have to like push it in before you pull it out. But if you don't have the comfort access like me, then you're not gonna be able to enable this option. If you do though, let me know if it works on your car down below and if it's cool and if it's worth doing or not. And the other one that I thought would work on my car, but I couldn't get to work was the door chime disable. Now it's pretty annoying being a YouTuber and trying to film videos and opening the door causes a door chime to go off for like the first 15, 20 seconds. So it's really annoying. I tried to disable it correctly. You don't have to deal. Huh? 
for some reason, I could not get it to work. So if you end up installing this option on your car, let me know with a comment down below if it worked for you. And of course, I, I would totally do it on this car, but for some reason, it didn't work. Now, those are just some of the coding options available for this car. And if you wanna see a full list, I'll put a link down below, like I said, and you can see what's applicable to your car. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more like it, be sure to check out the other ones on my channel and subscribe if you're new and you haven't yet. And maybe drop a like for us down below because it really helps with the algorithm. As always, I hope everyone has an amazing day and we will see you next time.